Talk about good. what's this journey been like? Like two, the two one year deals, obviously the huge injuries, and now you got a, a multi year deal, another reinvestment from the same team. What's that been like? Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's been a journey. I would say that. Uh, I'm grateful for it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I, don't, I can't really explain everything that's, that I feel right now. Uh, but I can tell you, before I signed the deal, uh, I mean, I still feel almost the same. You know, I mean, the deal, I mean, it, it definitely brings a little more security to my life, I guess. But as far as like everything else goes, uh, I'm still, I'm still the same type one. I'm still happy. You know, I'm great. Did you have some options to go elsewhere? And why would you decide to do that? I mean, it was, yeah, it was stressful. I would say that. You know I mean, but uh, it, was, it was, it was, it was tough to turn down some of those options. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, I mean, Chris and them made it easy. You know, so. Came down to like just where where is it that you want to like position yourself like as far as like when you got plan like the relationships you have with these people you know but Andy's a special place his organization is like really really special to me uh, especially like the front office uh, the cafeteria staff everyone needed like just the entire building so I mean I'm forever grateful. Tyvon, what did last season mean to you to make it through the entire year? Obviously, you played an important role coming off the two injuries. Well, I mean, I mean, I, I never go into it thinking like, you know, uh, I gotta, I gotta do this to overcome a hump or anything. It's just my mind is uh, I approach the season as I normally would, and you know, I mean, to make it 17 games was, was amazing. You know, but I don't set out to go nine games or nothing like that, like I did previously. But I mean, it, it, was, it was great to get it done. Tech one, how much, you, how much have you grown as a person and a, a player through all this? Uh, I, I, I guess you could say I, I grew tremendously uh, through my patience, just patience. But other than that, uh, I just I kept the same message the whole time. So. That was, that was the main thing, just growing through the mess. People always, people always want um, big name signings and all that. Right. Um, but I mean, you guys re signed a lot of good players from a team that won nine games. Can you guys take the next step with mostly the same guys in that locker room, do you feel like, next year? Most definitely. Uh, you know, I can say it would be like, didn't have good players here, but like, if it was like a bad group of guys. The guys we re-signed and extended, uh, and those are some of the best young men, like some of us have ever been in our lives. Uh, you know, uh, I can't really explain like how grateful I am for them as teammates. Uh, I think all of us have been teammates for six years almost, so six, six or seven years. So, uh, I mean, just just the core group of guys on the defense and everybody else. I mean, it's it's just wonderful to see because we all know like you know we are in our prime like you just have to take that next step so I feel like that's demanding of us as like as players too. And for you uh, the last couple off seasons have been hard right because because those injuries yeah how different will it be to go into this season feeling good and got a new contract feeling good but right. how different is it? I would say uh, the main thing is I get to train you know a little better you know? yeah than before, because like around this time, I was probably still like doing strength work. Like now, it's I could do more stuff, like work on like technique that I probably couldn't do before. Or I had to like work on it little by little. You know, things that I feel like I can clean up to add to my game. Just just different stuff like next to next to like the timeline of when I had the injury versus now. You kind of touched on it earlier. What does it mean to have been in Indianapolis your whole career playing for, you know, so far, playing for one team and then signing this deal? Like, you're starting to get up there to like, the, yeah. the length that most people don't get with one team. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think that was one of the biggest things uh, that I approached, like,
like life about like I was like if I like commit myself to something and I want to like be with just one team like you know even in college like I remember time got hard in college uh, you know, and like a lot of coaches would leave or something like that and they would reach out and be like hey like you can transfer here or something like that and I, that, that's just never been my MO so I'll just you know I, I just stayed the course and and then, like when I got drafted at Indy, it was just—it was like, listen, like whatever it is that this organization needs of me, you know, they gave me an opportunity, and they gave me several opportunities. Actually, I was like, you know, this is the place that I should be. It's like one you mentioned, <clears throat> a little stressful free agency. Was there ever a thought that you maybe wouldn't be back here? I mean, the, the thought of it was there, but I mean, it, it went away. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I mean, I was, I was just like in my mind, I was prepared for like just a solid free agency, uh, circuit or whatever. And then I was like, you know, ultimately, I was, this is where I wanted to be. So I was grateful for that. I was maybe you had opportunities to go somewhere where you could maybe play more snaps. Than, you know, obviously, there's a lot of good players here. But right. Do you feel kind of uh, like at home with? Just the fit, the system here, and that does that factor in? Uh, each and every day, I feel like it's challenging. Uh, it wasn't about like snaps or nothing. It was just about like just where I feel like not necessarily grounded, but like the opportunity here is like still like right in front of me. Everything, each and every day is a competitive day in my eyes. So you know, that's what I bring to the game of football. You know, I'm a competitive person. Uh, challenge you everyone around me. I don't care what position you play. It doesn't like none of that never like matter to me. Like I'm just here to like get everyone around me better. Uh, so you know snaps. You, you I mean it's a lot of people that play limited snaps but they're still phenomenal players. So I just feel like, you know, what I do with those snaps, you know, is all on me. I have to take advantage of it.